You're gonna scuff up your shoes, honey. So what? So what? You're right, so what? You go ahead and scuff them up if you want. What else do you want to do, baby? I'm not a baby. You're a big boy. So, are you bored? Do you want to watch TV? Or a video? There's a jungle book. No. Are you tired? No. I know what you need. You need some exercise, right? How about we jump all over the place, okay? We'll jump all over the house. That's stupid. Okay. Not much of a game, is it? Well, I didn't want to do this for a while, but how about we go in the backyard and play some baseball when the sun goes down? You must make a walk. No, you didn't, honey. No, you didn't. It's right here. Here it is, silly bunny. It's practically brand new. It's different. Well, last time I checked, it worked just fine. So what do you say? We go in the backyard and play some baseball. Okay. What did you say? If we made a trip to Whoopi World, you always wanted to go there. I've been there. No, you haven't, honey. You just looked at the brochures. Now I'm running out of ideas. Please tell me what's wrong. Well, he was a he was a little fella about uh, about this high and uh, kind of uh, light brown hair. He had on a uh, red short and uh, a blue shirt with uh, some kind of uh, a picture on it. Uh, a sailboat? Yeah, probably. And uh, he was wearing some very fancy sneakers. You know, the, the, the kind that uh, you, uh, you, you pump up. Uh, and so white. They look brand new. They were brand new. He bugged us for months to get them. Sounds like mine. That's what I noticed first, was his shoes. See, he ran by me, and uh, I remember laughing to myself and thinking, those shoes are gonna look shiny like that for about three days before they're, they're covered with boy marks, you know, scuffs and, and, and mud and stuff. Oh, it's him. It's him. It's gotta be him. Okay, Mr. Carter, it sounds as if... The boy you saw was our son. Now, if you could please... Mr. Hughes, I've hang spoken in, with... Hang on just a minute, please. You were saying... Well, what's going on? Go ahead. No, go back. You said that you saw said something about a car. You saw him getting into the car with somebody. That's right. See, I was in my usual spot. See, uh, I'm usually... I, I got an ice cream wagon, you know, and uh, I'm usually in Memorial Park, uh, but uh, sometimes when it's slow there, I, I go over to Riverfront. Uh, and I always set up by the playground, because it's, it's, it's so near the, uh, the parking lot. So, so I was there selling ice cream when I saw your boy getting into a car. All right, who was he with? Uh, I didn't get a good look. Uh, I was pretty busy. Anything at all about him? Was he tall? Was he short? Did you recognize anything at all that he was wearing? Well, it wasn't a he. It was a she. What? Casey went off with a woman? I think so. I didn't get a good look at her, but uh, she was wearing a, a, a red scarf kind of thing, kind of over a face, which isn't something you see a guy doing. A woman? A woman took our child. She wasn't real short or, or tall. I, I would have noticed that. Kind of average for a woman. Just wasn't much unusual about her, except that scar. I'm sorry. Mr. Carter, please, just, just keep talking. Maybe you'll come up with something that'll be helpful. It just wasn't much that I re... <sighs> Wait a minute. 
There was. I remember now. The boy dropped a baseball glove when he was getting in the car. We know, and another boy picked it up. Oh. So Casey drops the glove and gets in the car with her. Does she force him? Does she have a hold of him? Uh, no. Did she? Uh, maybe she had a, a hand on his arm. Maybe that's it. There, there, there's still something bugging me. Now, Mr. Carter, I know I why saw... don't you try closing your eyes? Playing the whole thing back like you were watching a movie. Just watch the movie and tell us what you see. Okay. I'm selling ice cream. Uh, a couple of kids and their mom are at my wagon. And uh, I see the boy with the new shoes run by. Your boy. And uh, I think maybe he'll be back for ice cream. So I, I look off after him. And uh, there's the car. What kind of car is it? <sighs> Dark. Maybe it's black. It's pretty new. A uh, four-door. Can you see the license plate? No. It's parked sideways, so I can't see either end. All right, all right, you can see the car. Can you see the woman? Just the scar. And, uh, and the boy. Only, just as they, they get to the car, he drops his baseball glove. The woman sees it. Now, that's what's weird. Now, now, she sees it. But she doesn't stop uh, to, to pick it up, uh, like she's in a hurry. Does she keep him from picking up the glove? Why doesn't he notice it's gone? He, his face is all scrunched up, like, uh, like he's crying. That's it. That's what it was. The boy was crying hard. Are you sure? Well, I was too far away to hear, but uh, I bet you anything, that boy was crying his eyes out. Okay, first we check out every black four-door sedan that's registered to a woman in Oakdale. Then we check out every boutique, every department store that sells red scarves. Mrs. Hughes, women. oh, Agent Jones, this is basic detective work. Don't tell me you wouldn't check it out. We would, and we will. Hey, come on. I know it's not much, it's a start. Yeah, it is. Well, so why aren't you happy then? Oh, I'm sorry, but Mr. Carter's news wasn't good. What are you talking about? He gave us a solid lead. To a woman. Yeah? And? Look, I, I don't know a whole lot about kidnapping cases, but why is a woman bad news to us? Well, you haven't had any contact from the kidnappers, right? No. no ransom demands, no notes, no nothing? All right. So maybe your kidnapper doesn't want any contact. Maybe she's got what she wants. My boy? She wants my boy? There's no way of knowing. All I can say is that returning Casey for money, or anything else for that matter, doesn't look like part of her plan. Are you telling me it's really too late for a ransom demand? Well, what, well, what do you think? Come on, what's your best guess? I, I don't like to guess. Well, guess this time. We are doing everything we can to help find Casey. Every field office in the country's been alerted. What, do you think they took him out of state? There's no way of knowing. We just have to keep every possibility open. Casey could be out of Oakdale, or out of the state, or even out of the country. He could be... No. Don't say that. Don't say that. Don't you even think that.